Greetings and welcome. This is Psychic Medium Roberto, and I truly hope you are doing well today. I'm recording this on the May 1st at 4.46 p.m. Uh, the book launch slight delay going to be now May the 3rd. Apologies about that. Um, but it is ready, all set and ready. All right. I'm going to be looking at the Corin Reed case. And the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. All cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. So we know the court case started um, this week. Um, bigger pardon, why is my calendar? Uh, on the 29th of May. Um, of course, I was trying to finish the book, but this was starting and I, I said, as soon as I'm finished the book, I'm doing the case. So, interestingly, the court case date, let's just start there as a segue. Uh, April 29 is when the court uh, case started, which was the Monday. Whew. Let me just say, do I pronounce it as Karen? Or Karen, she, and I emphasize she, is up against it. She, being a woman, is up against it. We have very dominant male numbers on April the 29th. The 15-6, and we'll go deeper, this will start with an overview. 15-6 is pinging around town. 15-6 is on the lead up to the murder. And not accidental murder. We have the 14-5, these are the ones circled in blue. 14-5, a common number when there are groups of people involved, groups of people behaving badly, and liar, liar. Uh, untruths being said. But we'll go there, we'll get there now. now. Also disturbing at the courtroom date, and I'll explain why these dates are significant. We also note the 33-6, which is also present on the lead up to the crime. And that particular one is on January the 26th. These are no coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. Um... And when we have the 29.11.2 at the start of the day, I've marked that in orange, lots of uh, activity happening around here. 29.11.2 pings directly in the crime scene. And in this case, the crime scene I've drawn up uh, and in this case, the crime scene is the blue lines on January the 28th. You see the red arrow pointing down. So from 6 p.m. onwards, 6 p.m. onwards until um, sunset the following day will tell me the story. Um, but in my opinion, just to add, well, not to create confusion, and I explain why it goes over days, I'll explain why. Um, because he was murdered very late in the evening, and I believe uh, this would have happened before, before midnight of January the 28th. While we're at January 28th, you'll also note the presence of all the eights, and I've explained in the book as well, you will... 
you will find a crime scene if there's eights around the crime scene is quite detrimental to the human body so to put it this way the impact to the biology of the body is noticeable so we know from day one court on monday that there was a severe injury to the back of his head supposedly from falling back when the vehicle struck him and the state is obviously alleging that Karen was reversing the vehicle intentionally over her boyfriend now the 35 8 on january the 28th is a very nasty number common common number at a crime scene of this nature when there's physical impact on the biology um so just finishing off april the 29th we also note the 23 5. now the 23 5 speaks about community And we note the 14.5 underneath. So it's a community of brothers. A community of brothers. So having pulled out these dates, uh, particularly obviously the day of the crime, I've got the reflection days on the right and I've marked there with the blue arrows the reflection of this crime. Um, and I started the run from January the 25th. Now, January the 25th and 26th is very problematic for me. And in my humble opinion, I just had a sense, January 25, just looking at the numbers, and January 26, looking at the numbers, there's a problem there. And I believe the um, reason for why we're doing this case today and the reason why Karen is in court unjustly is because of what transpired at the very least um, January the 25th and January the 26th. There might have been other stuff in the beginning of those days as well. But for me, these two days tell me, um, I would even say, if, if I was look, if you gave me, for example, just the date January 28, 2022, right? If you just gave me that date and said, okay, something has happened here. And I would normally pull out the first three days leading up and the three days after. Um, I would have said something tragic, very bad would have happened between January 25 and January 26. Like I would say that's where the main crime is. I'm not discounting what happened to the police officer. I'm just saying when you look at 25 and 26, particularly uh, January 26, particularly January 26, is we have a situation here, a murder. There's a very big crime that has taken place on January 26th. There's a murder. I don't believe at this point, because that is coming up as well. At this point, it's not a discussion about murdering someone. It is a murder that has taken place. 27-9 in that red block. 27-9 is a hit. The 33-6 in red is murder. We note the 33.6 also pings on the April 29. And let me tell you that 33.6 is not a natural death or it's, it's premeditated planned. Um, now, what I do want to draw to your attention on April the 26th as well, we note the 26.8. And I'm actually going to mark it orange now. So 
So on January the 26th and January 25th, there is arguments and fighting going on here. 26-8, 26-8. Now I'm also going to um, uh, say this is not arguments between the boyfriend and Karen. What I'm seeing here, the, these are issues amongst the band of brothers. And in fact, I'm going to write that in now. Um, Band of Brothers on January the 25th. There's an issue amongst the friends. Not girlfriends and boyfriends and partners. The males. There's an issue with the male group. Or let's put it this way. There's an issue with, there's an issue with the males within the friends groups. There's an issue with the males in the group. And in fact, January the 25th, we see the reversal of the 23.5. So 32.5, there's, there's a disintegration or a destruction or a breakup of the group. 14.5. Over in a dispute. Is, now, dispute came from spirit as I was talking I was going to use the word argument or a fight, 26-8 on January 25. So for me, January 25, January 26 for the um, defense team, I would look at what was happening in the life of the policeman that was murdered, yes. But what was his activities around January 25 and January 26? And of course, in this case, you would have to get the... Um, Gosh, I know the word Jane South Africa, and I hear it all the time in the movies. Um, internal affairs. So you would have to get not the internal affairs people to investigate what happened January 25th, or PR, January 25th, January 26th. Those are two hotly contested days, very aggressive, very violent. The year that the crime takes place in is a six year, very aggressive, very violent. And January 26th, there's, there's something goes down here. And we'll note also the mass of sixes. Extreme violence here. 27-9, there's a hit. There's a hit. And there's, there's no coincidence that the, the numbers on January the 26th sit on April the 29th. So already the build up to the crime for me is problematic. The January the 27th, so we see that 27 9 playing coming around the next day as well. 28 10 1, here is the number where people are discussing. Murder. Twenty-eight, ten, one. People are discussing murder. And you know, we there's been a couple of cases leading up to this from an upload um, sequence point of view where we are seeing uh, potential police involvement, right? But, you know, in some, in some of those cases, it's not clear-cut because the, you know, who were the gangbangers or who were in the group of drug dealers, were they ex-cops, security, that kind of thing. But yeah, on the day leading up to the crime, you've got the 16-7-7, yeah, 34-7. These are not good numbers. Because there's someone on the hunt. 16-7. Deadly hunter coming. Or bean. Now, was, uh, was the policeman, who I believe has an exemplary record, well liked by the community? We're not here to judge um, personal relationships. Uh, all couples have their issues, 
but I think in this case it's been used as the veil of deception, as the red herring. I've um, watched the first day summary court trial. I don't know all the details, of course, um, but I believe they were out drinking the January the 28th. I did see some CCTV footage. I did see some CCTV footage. So no issues going now. It's having a good time. All good. And then the party moves to a friend's house who happens to be a policeman as well. Um, now, 167, actually, just thinking about it now because I'm, you know, this is the part that I, I haven't concluded as yet. And what is the motive? Why would the band of brothers on January the 25th kind of break apart because of an argument or dispute, as Spirit had said, Spirit, uh, <laughs> um, dispute. So there's people leaving the group or people are going to be taken out of the group. Now, there was something that goes down or had gone down and was the policeman um, going to talk about the issue or come clean on the issue? Um, I'm just checking something quickly, I beg your pardon. Um, all right, so obviously uh, Karen is on uh, trial for the murder or alleged murder of John O'Keefe. John O'Keefe. Just a message from um, John as well. Um, I believe John has been around me since doing the case. I did make a promise to myself or to Spirit that I'll do the case um, when I finish the book. So... Um, but he's been around and he just said, now nah, he loved that woman. Um, so something not adding up here for me. For me, this crime, and alleged, of course, is male-dominated, male-dominated, And Karen has been used as an uh, escape goat. For all we know, and this is the second time it's crossed my mind now, so I'm going to say it. Let's see if I get another confirmation. But in the first time I received this message, so everyone goes out drinking late January, then they move to home and obviously drink, 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 drink. Now, we must also know they're also cops, right? Um, we're all human after all. Now, does Karen pass out? And when she comes to, everything has happened. Like I say, I haven't read and listened to all the detail. I'm just trying to figure out why, how would she not have heard John being attacked? And I know there's um, the um, theory that the, a dog was set on him. And I can tell you now that 35.8, and I did see some of the wounds from the um, autopsy, uh, they're not pleasant. 35.8 uh, 
is very detrimental, is detrimental to the body, to the biology, the physical, the skin, the flesh. Seventeen eight. You see, there's a seven in, in that seventeen eight. There's a seven. Now that seven is a problem. So of course we can say it leads to law enforcement, and more than likely will. But what it actually is saying is that it was an unjust, unlawful, even uh, karmically unjustful death. Unjustful karmic death. So interestingly, and, and I will tell you why, I mean, the main reason is there's a lot of male energy going on around it. They were there without a doubt, okay? But I want to draw your attention to January the 29th, because in previous cases, you would note, and I just need to move this line out the way so it doesn't obscure the number I want to speak about. Yeah, sorry, big up. you're going to see the time traveler version. All right. January 30, ah, oh, bigger pardon, bigger pardon, January 29. Now, we're still within the crime scene here, right? January 29, because I believe he was only found later that morning. I, I don't know the exact time, but he obviously he would have been found before sunset the next day. The 33... Three zero with an outcome three would typically um, say yes. In previous shows, thirty three is an outburst. The couple could have had a fight. There could have been an argument, um, and that's the reason why this all happened. But in this case, I don't believe it is the case. And let me just check something here. There's actually a 33 two days before January 25. So that would have been January 23, 5, 6. We've got another imbalance day on the January 23. We've got an imbalance of sixes again. And then we note there are a number of imbalance sixes around as well. Um, with a 12-3 outcome, which is also a 33. So it's just my feeling that this 33-12-3 this on April 29 is the reason why John was murdered. And in fact, I'm going to just highlight it in blue, actually. That's my feeling. So, is there some corrupt element happening within this group of friends that are privy to, let me just double check here, yeah, there's something going on here yeah, that's not kosher. Actually, there we go. Okay, I've got my answer. So within the reflection days, so I just picked up the other nasty number at a crime scene, particularly when you have a conspiracy nature of such. Remember the 3710-1? The higher-ups are making decisions. This is not a Karen Reed had allegedly whatever, drank whatever, had an argument, revert, driving away, decided, oh, slam on brakes, reverse 40-odd yards or whatever it is, 60 yards, whatever the exact 
distances, reverses into the boyfriend, knocks him out cold, and then reverses over him again, and then drives off, or whatever the story is. Um, like I said, there's too much male energy going on around here. We have the presence of the 12-3. Let me just check something here. Here's the 12-3, yeah. So I start the recording when I feel um, they're there about. Um, and I believe this is all about a control issue. Oof, that January. Th so, okay, beg your pardon. I've just realized January 32 is my ghost day. Um, I'm just, let me just uh, change the outline of it. Um, now, because the next month goes 1 February, I'm going to lose that energy trail. Um, I'm going to get a different, I'll get the same outcome, but I want to see. Um, what the energy trail year continues to say and I'm just quickly making it a ghost color so gray 32.5 let me make it a bit darker um, so January the ghost day is problematic here huh? there's problems here The story as we know it, we don't know it. I'm just going to say. Um, and that is also evident with the 14.5 in play. The courtroom date, 14.5's all bullshit. Lies. Untruths. Not good. That's why I say, Karen is up against Jared because... There's lots of male energy around here, and she's surrounded by male energy. When I looked at the uh, defense guy, he seems quite good. But of course, they're playing on the heartstrings of the blue line. Um, the ghost day... We, of course, have the 33-6 and the 6 imbalance. But more importantly, oof. So, yeah, we've got the sequence, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and we're going to go through it together. I've just concluded the sequence in my head. And I've seen it here. I've completed the sequence. Okay. January the 28th. We note the 35.8. So that, that number happens within the time frame that John was murdered. 35.8. If we follow that sequence of numbers on the next day, we see 36.9. Uh, let me just actually put a line. Um... Yo, there's a lot going on here, guys. This is not a clear-cut story. Therefore, the theory of conspiracy is starting to feel like a bit of a reality, I must admit. But let's see. So on the day of the murder, 35-8, gruesome murder, unfortunately, for John. Unfortunately. Reflected as 36-9, a horrible way to go. 37101 now we are in the reflection zone so this is going to give me clues here January the 30th 37101 that is the higher ups group people involved here and they're pinning it on the girlfriend 33 but it's distorted the 33 is distorted that's what it is here as well it's distorted because originally I was looking at well, are the friends involved in some kind of network? But I don't believe that's the case here. They over the 33 is out of place for me.
And the reason why it's out of place is because the relationship issue between Karen and John has been over-exaggerated. I'm not saying there were no issues. That's, I said that earlier on. But it's been used against her. It's what it's. In fact, that's all I was hearing when I first started listening to this case, that it that the the relationship was so um, heated that she must have got so angry and did allegedly what they think she did, and I don't think it's the case at all. And the only thing uh, Karen did wrong that night was be too drunk. That's the only unlawful thing Karen did. There was another law broken here because I'm also getting the feeling of multiple issues here. There's underhandedness going on, of course, and they've used Karen now as the scapegoat. Nothing new there. Now, I also just want to say, I've just been told again, this is the second time I've been told. Um, I don't believe, hold on, let me just check something here. Something's wrong here. Something definitely happened January 25th, January 26th, that, let me see if I can be a little bit more specific. Um, but there's definitely a breakup of the group, um, and there's internal arguments going on here. Big time. And because obviously the law has been broken, even in the 14.5, regardless of all the other meanings for 14.5, that's an issue as well there. Law's been broken. Corruption. 14.5 also brings about corruption. There's a corruption going on here of sorts and I believe um, um, John was targeted by his peers for that reason that for me is without a doubt Um, and again, yeah, so I wrote here the court date when it started, and I'll, sorry, I'll finish that sentence. Um, but the court date, April 29, rigged. It's rigged. The only crime Karen committed on that evening was drinking and driving. And maybe passing out before, passing out after, whatever the situation is. She was probably too drunk to even remember. And being drunk is not a crime. And like I say, the only law she broke was driving drunk. Not for the murder of John, in my opinion. Alleged murder of John. Um, I'm just waiting to see if I get any more information. So when I started looking at the case a little bit earlier this afternoon, about two hours, three hours ago, um, I did get an image. I did have an image because I checked in with Spirit first. I did have an image of Karen and John having arguments. I did see that in Spirit, visually. Um, um but I'm, I'm also seeing, maybe that's what it is, because I couldn't explain it properly. So what I'm seeing, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm seeing, is that the two of them are having an argument. But then there's another male that walks up to them from, so not from my side, so they would be standing, the couple would be standing between me and the person approaching on the other side of me, right? Opposite me. And walks up to, and the image walks up to John and shoots him. Now, I'm not saying that he was shot. We all know 
uh, blunt force trauma to the back of the head and allegedly hit by a car, but there's also um, rumor, and I've seen the autopsy visuals, um, attacked by a dog or animal of that, it's that kind of wounds, right? And we know that there's a, there was some wild dog on the property, whatever, I didn't go too much into that, but um, can certainly cause those wounds that you see on John, unfortunately. Um, so we have the situation here of this is being covered up, set up. The in fact, I'm going to mark that 36.9 in red now. The 37.10, that's that's conversations, that's decision making decision making happening. Decisions are being made. Decisions are being made. And why that makes sense to me now is because why would why would I get an image of a man walking up to him shooting him? But I believe that that whatever the January 26th, that murder there, and very likely by a gun, because gun is sixes, outcome six, lots of stack of sixes, hit with a gun, someone killed, murdered with a gun, is, is related to why John got murdered. So the murder on January 26th, a hit, is the reason why John was murdered on January the 28th evening, before midnight. So the Eternal Affairs defense team need to investigate what happened January 25, January 26, in the life of Mr. John and his friends is the answer. There's too many pings going on here, particularly with events leading up to the crime. This was planned. When you have a 33-6, and it might seem like, yeah, friend, oh, let's just, we'll go to the, the bar for two hours or whatever. Okay, that, that, that's the premise. And then the agenda is to get them a little bit nice and tipsy. Come over to the house. We'll finish off there. Come on. Wah, wah, wah. All set up, ready, waiting for him. Um, because, oh, hold on, yeah. Yeah. It feels like yeah, it's unconfirmed. So what I was looking for was 26.8, because 26.8 will also tell us something about the situation. Of course, I mentioned his arguments and that, but of course, if the 26.8 was post the event, we could say a staging, but I'm also getting a feeling, while I was looking at that, I got a feeling that John may have been set up in this situation as well. John was set up. So... Keeping the issues between the blue lines. Because that's how they deal with their issues. So there's definitely, there, there's definitely a, there was an earth, let's, let, sorry, I don't want to use the word earthquake loosely, but I'm, I want to give you an, an idea that whatever happened within the group of people was like, that's it, it's over. It's destruction. It was like an earthquake within the group of friends or community or whatever that little, little group of criminals is about. Uh, 
And unfortunately, Karen or Karen Karen has been thrown under the bus on this one. So let's see if there would be a, what's the outcome on this situation, right? Oh gosh, I just had an image, but it doesn't mean it's right. That's what my mentor always said, psychic Vanessa. Doesn't mean it's right. Let's we need validations. But the minute I looked at April 29, wow, man. I mean, from the perspective of this context and this crime, a woman on trial for a murder of a man, one, and a murder of a Boston policeman, of all things. And we've all watched lots of uh, movies around Boston policemen, right? <sighs> Definitely murder. So we got so January 29, we got the 189 murder. Definitely murder. This wasn't accidental. It doesn't make Karen guilty. She's been put on trial for it because other people are playing games in the background here. I think the last thing on her mind was get home, get sober, we've got to go to work tomorrow. And it's easy to taunt, you know, when you're in a group of males, it's e easily to taunt the other male, oh, come on, get rid of your wife or girlfriend, let's go hang out here for two, three, four hours, or we want to do this, causes an argument. I'd rather go home and sleep and uh, sober up for the next day. But of course, she realizes by four o'clock that uh, John's not home. Because perhaps she did care about him. But something is wrong, yeah. Um, uh I'm trying to still get that outcome. I did receive an image, but I don't believe that's going to be the case. Um, so let's just let's just say this while we wait for while I wait for any additional messaging. The fact that it ends the day, April 29, 2024, is the start of the trial. For me. So if we're looking at it from the perspective of what is the outcome, I believe the truth, the actual truth may come out here. The actual truth may come out here. So let me just see something, 14, 5, 15, 6, 16, 17, 17, 8. So 17, 8 is the reflection day of the 29th, if, if it continued, because we know it changes to May. But there's that 17.8 on the time of the crime. I believe the truth may come out here, the actual truth, not the alleged cop killer girlfriend who was so drunk, couldn't remember even what her name was. And I'm just saying that not to be mean, but I'm just giving context to the crime. There's definitely elements of premeditation. Definitely elements. There's conversations. Oh, there's it there. There's January 28, 28, 10, 1. There's conversations going on here. I'll mark it in orange. There's conversations going on about this. And ooh, I believe it may involve money as well. There's money involved, yeah? Money, I don't think money is the big thing. But money is involved. There is money involved. But I don't think it's the main thing. Um, and we have a 29.11.2. I'm going to mark in orange now. Also problematic for me. The, and 29.11.2 is now talking about ending it. Murder. So 28.10.1 is what are we going to do about the situation? 
28.10.1, what are we going to do about the situation? 29.11.2, this is what we are going to do. 29.11.2, this is what we're going to do, and it includes 9, which is murder. So, and, 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 the discussion is not between one-on-one -on -one here. There's a group of people. Of which Corin has nothing to do with at all. So, what is happening here? Um, so, let's just do this. I, I don't want to. I know we want to know, you know, what is going to be the outcome, but I'm not getting a definitive answer now while we're doing the recording and checking the time. We're quite long in already. Um, I don't want to hang around too much. To, of course, I was meant to release the book today. I'm fairly exhausted. Everything's ready. It was just a ping test that needed to be done, but of course, the financial institutions on open today on Workers' Day. So it will happen tomorrow morning. I've got it in writ, uh, writing that it will happen tomorrow, no problem. So making the release Friday just to be safe. And it doesn't hurt to spend another day just doing an overview as well. But I was keen to do another show. Um, and then I'm going to go rest. But um, yeah, this, so the, the other feeling that I actually got now uh, that I also got earlier, and, and, and I'm seeing it again, I was reminded on January 31. So January 31, we've got that 38.11.2. Now, what, what I'm getting to is we have that 11.2 as well at the end of the day. So the 11.2, I'm going to make orange. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the feeling I got when I pulled out the numbers for April 29, 2024, is there's a law within a law that's been broken. You know what I mean? The only unlawful thing, now we're dealing with 11 twos, right? But there's a lot of 11 twos around, which is telling me there were two laws broken here in this case, two laws. Karen, or Karen, 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 so Karen, is guilty of driving drunk, as I mentioned. That's the one law that's been broken. Right? But she's not being tried for that crime. Do you know what I mean? That's There's there's like overlapping issues happening here. The actual crime is the murder, but she shouldn't be on trial for it. She should only be on trial for... The drinking and driving, the DRU, drinking and or DUR, driving under the influence, right? That's the, we, we should be talking about Karen. Oh, she got a, of course, in America and anywhere, even in South Africa, drinking and driving is a very serious offense. We've seen horrific accidents with people that have been, that women and friends that left that club that one night, that drove like crazy down the roads and ended up in a piece of tin. But that's what Corrin's guilty of. Not the alleged murder of her boyfriend and everyone has arguments, so what? Doesn't make you a murderer. And in this case, it's not a spousal situation, definitely not. There's too many 11 twos around and sevens. So the issue was contained within the uh, thin blue lines. And they are trying to pin it um, on Karen. That's my entertaining version of this event. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm glad I did this case. I went off and on, off and on. But you know what? The, the Once you start pulling out the numbers and you start seeing what's happening here, 
we are unfortunately watching a, um, I'm going to use the word, and I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to say it because we're in Massachusetts, uh, a bit of a witch hunt here. And uh, a bit of a lynching mob um, against a, a woman who was only guilty of having a good time but was possibly unaware of what was transpiring behind blue doors. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, I'd love to read your comments and engage with your comments. And uh, please stay safe, stay alert. I'll see you in the next one. Book coming out soon. Have a good one.